everyone, uh, welcome to another unboxing. It's been a minute or two since I've unboxed a computer for you guys, um, so I thought I'd do one today. Um, with here with me, I've got the HP Elite 800 G9 Small Form Factor. Um, so I'm going to unbox it and show you what's in the box, what it comes with, and then I'm going to upgrade this machine to have double the uh, RAM and an extra NVMe SSD hard drive. So feel free to stick around if you want to see how to pull the, pull the case apart, upgrade these components and put it back together, or if you're just here for the unboxing, you may want to switch off then. I shouldn't say that, you should hang around for the whole video. Uh, let's get to it, let's unbox this computer. I'm back to my new and improved workshop. All right, so, opening the box, sitting on top, we have a keyboard. Um, I believe this is the standard HP keyboard that comes with most of the small form pack PCs. It's wired keyboard with USB. Um, it's got the, uh, I think they call it like the laptop style keys there. Um, I'm not gonna be using that, so I'll put that back together and put it off to the side. Okay, secondly in this box, I'm going to show you what it looks like. It comes with some cardboard and some clear plastic around the actual unit itself. Got another box here, which comes with a wired HP mouse and a uh, standard kettle cord and some warranty information. Now again, I'm going to be using that, so I'll put that off to the side. Uh, and then we've got our unit in here. I'm just going to put the box down here. Um, so pull it out of the plastic. And there we have it. So on the front, we've got four standard USB ports, uh, one USB C, and I think it's an SD standard card reader, memory card reader. On the back, we've got two Display Port, one HDMI, one wired Ethernet, six standard USB-A and standard power cord inlet there. Um, I'm going to cut the video off here. That's the, that's the unboxing part of this done. And uh, I'm going to pull apart the case, upgrade the components. I've got them sitting over here. We've got some RAM and another hard drive. Um, so I'm going to move the camera to be looking over the top of this and uh, we'll come back in a second. Okay, I'm back with a bit of a bird's eye view. Um, I don't have the proper setup to be vlogging or doing these sorts of videos, so bear with me. Um, if this gets enough views, uh, maybe we'll invest in some equipment that does some good videography overhead. Um, so step one, we've got this case on the front, it's integrated. There's this one simple thumb screw on the back here that we need to undo. So I'll go ahead and undo that. And what that allows us to do is to pull the top part of this case back, so like so, and then it simply lifts off. Now, the next part is tricky. Um, we've got to take the front fascia off. However, you can't do that when the CD-ROM drive's still in there because it, it breaks the CD-ROM drive. Now, I've done this a hundred times, so I'm speaking from experience here. I think it's a pretty bad design, but uh, that's sort of the reason for this video. So step one, um, there's two cables going into the back of the CD-ROM drive. One's the power, one's the data. So you want to undo both of those first, right? Make sure they're clear. And then you've got a green lever here and to push that green lever and that pushes the CD-ROM drive out like so. Um, so there's our extracted CD-ROM drive. We're going to put that over to the side. Now we've got the front fascia is still clipped on, but without the CD-ROM drive. And it might be a bit hard to see, but there are three clips along the top here. One there, one in the middle, one on the other side. We need to unclip them, like so, and then fold the front fascia forward, like that, and then it sort of lifts off. A little bit hard to explain, but that's how that works. Um, then to access the memory component, we need to pull this up. And it just folds out pretty simply like that. Um, this comes with 16 gig as standard in two 8 gig slots. 
um, I'm going to be putting in an extra module here of 16 gig which ups it to 32 for this particular unit. Push that in. Okay, and now I'm going to be putting in the NVMe SSD hard drive. So I'm just going to get that out of the case. Um, you will need the screw. Now this particular hard drive comes with the screw, but I've had a lot uh, come in that don't come with the screw and I've had to find my own. So just keep that in mind. Um, you will need the screw, otherwise it will come loose and it won't work, which I have had happen to me before. So be mindful of that. Okay, so what you gotta do um, to get to install this is there's a couple of cables in the way of where it needs to go. Now you, you could put it in and slot it over the top of those cables. I like to go underneath. So you sort of gotta get a finger in there and pull them up out of the way. And then it slots into that little slot there. And push it then pushes down. So it sort of slots in on an angle, then you push it down. And then you'll see that lines up with where you're gonna put your screw. You need a tiny little screwdriver. And put that in there, like so. Now, the, um, the tricky part with all of this is you've got to put the case back exactly the same way that you pulled it apart. So I fold this back down, you can see that the wires are sitting over the top of that hard drive now and it's sitting pretty firmly in place. So I'm going to fold that back down. Now, um, first step, is to put the fascia back on. So you can't put the, the CD-ROM drive in first. I've made that mistake before because what happens is uh, this black plastic sits expo like sort of exposed and then when you try and clip this on, it gets stuck. Um, so do CD-ROM drive last. So fascia first, same way it went on. So you've sort of on an angle into these grooves at the bottom, then fold up and then you'll hear those three clicks. Um, which is those clips on the top I was talking about earlier. You'll then put your CD-ROM drive back in and then it just slides in nicely and easily. And that click is this green um, switch at the back there, clicking into place. Plug our power and data back in. Okay, all done. And then we just put our case back on top. So it just slides or sits on top, you place it down and then slides in about a centimeter. Um, you can see there's no crack there, which means it's sitting in there firmly. And then there's a the single thumb screw at the back to screw that up. And that's it, guys. That is the unboxing of the HP Elite One 800 G9 Small Form Factor PC, um, as well as a hard drive and RAM upgrade. Hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe to this channel. And uh, I'll be putting out some more content soon. Thank you.